in the video, uh, you, you can see uh, Mr. Carroll walk along that tree, tree line and, and officers shoot him uh, when he's on the other side of that tree. The, uh, one of the passengers in uh, Mr. Carroll's vehicle uh, did observe him with a weapon shortly before he exited that vehicle. Uh, at the crime scene, or at the scene, later determined that uh, 11 shell casings uh, in this area uh, were attributed to the gun that Mr. Carroll had. The uh, officers uh, fired, the, the six officers fired a total of uh, approximately 53 rounds. Uh, Mr. Carroll was struck 13 times. Uh, I have uh, listed those out in the actual uh, summary. It was determined that uh, Mr. Carroll's gun was located on this side of the creek, uh, and that is where he eventually uh, landed. This picture depicts where uh, the shooting originally started and where Trooper Voorhees was, uh, where he hits the ground in this area. Uh, there's his taser. This diagram depicts, uh, again, that same general area, the taser, uh, the shell casings uh, uh, attributed to uh, Mr. Carroll's 9mm. So the, the question uh, is whether or not the officers' actions were reasonable, uh, whether it was reasonable for them to use uh, deadly force. The law states that uh, uh, it is reasonable for a person to use deadly force, certainly in a, in a case where deadly force is being used against them. Uh, that certainly was the case here. Uh, Mr. Carroll fired at officers numerous times and they believed him to be, continue to be armed and dangerous. He refused commands and requests to, to take the ground. Uh, and so uh, each of those officers acting individually uh, believed, reasonably believed that their life was in danger and the life of those other officers. In fact, uh, the officers uh, believed with good reason that, that other officers had been uh, shot. Uh, as I have uh, recited some of the, the, the case law uh, specifically on that, um, uh, use of deadly force by a police officer uh, must be evaluated from the perspective of the officers at the time. Uh, it's, uh, you have to resist the uh, going through a video frame by frame and uh, uh, kind of second guessing what could have been done uh, because they are acting in real time, they are acting uh, with their lives in danger uh, and, the da and, and the perceived danger to others uh, and, and reacting in real time and the Supreme Court has uh, recognized that. Uh, uh, Case law also reflects that a police officer may have to continue his use of force until a suspect thought to be armed is fully secured. And that certainly was uh, the case here. Uh, so uh, I, I find and believe that uh, all of the officer's actions uh, during this incident 
that we're justified. 